Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back. Triple Legit Gamer here. Um, I know I and welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Smack that like button, hopefully, please. And um, like I said before, in all of my other videos, especially my, uh, I've been on a streak of doing uh, music reaction videos. Uh, Tom McDonald, and I, I had to redo them, so I'm actually even more irritated and stuff. But you know, I'm uh. Marking them down. Yeah, I'm marking them down. Of uh, a whole bunch of videos I did. And then I uploaded them and scheduled them for release. And then uh, somebody commented that there's an echo. So I've had to redo a whole bunch of them. But while I was redoing some of them, I actually went to a comment that stuck out to me for a uh, video request. And, uh, that was to do a movie trailer reaction video of, well, as you can see, I have highlighted um, The Lady of Heaven. And actually, this guy, uh, and that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, it was written by a Shika or Shikaya Yasher, Yasser Al Habib. Uh, he wrote this movie and I've seen the trailer and that's what we're gonna react to and I thought it was amazing you know um, it was late at night when I found out about this my phone kind of blew up and I looked at it I'm like lady of heaven so I typed it in and that was the first video that popped up so I watched it and uh, you know um, I was half asleep right um, and I was watching this video and I'm like, I was kind of confused, you know. I was like, oh, um, Middle Eastern. Oh, okay, this is gonna be interesting. Um, Muslim, cool, you know. But I was like, kind of like half sleep, you know. And I'm like, and then I had to, and the next morning when I got up, uh, before I left the house, I rewatched this video and what he said and then I rewatched it and then I watched the trailer and I'm like oh my gosh I want to see this movie like in fact I'm gonna uh, see if it'll pump uh, if it'll come up on my movie app for so I can add it to my favorites and then when it gets released and it'll, it'll get uploaded to my movie app I made a movie app uh, video about how to get any free movie for uh, it's free to download if you have like an Xbox and I don't know about PlayStation but uh, you know with only a one time payment I, I can watch anything I can you know there's no H, there's no need for me to have HBO or HBO Max Disney's Plus uh, Amazon whatnot uh, and Hulu Netflix you know whatever I can watch it for, for free for this movie app with only a one time payment and I explained everything in that in the two videos I made about it anyway enough about me rambling on this is going to be a reaction video, like I said, of the film trailer, um, The Lady of Heaven by Triple Legit Gamer here. So thank you for watching. Like I said before, smack that like button. I also do video game playthroughs. I am burning through my redo list, which still irritates me. Anyway, enough about me. Yeah, smack that like button, subscribe. Love you guys all. Ladies, germs, gentlemen. You know, thank you. Now let's get into it. I'm gonna have to restart this, right? Of course I am. Subjugation. Oh wait. Violence. No. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Oh. This one. That's it. Okay. Let me pause this and. Ugh. I'll be back. I'm going to pause this because I don't want to freaking go through the ads in a video. It's less to edit when I just pause it, right? And we're back. So, let's start this. The world is in shock as a group of terrorists has taken control of large areas of Syria and Iraq. The world can be a cruel and dangerous place. Remember. 
if you're afraid. <laughs> Be strong. Your loving mother, Fatima. Did your mother ever tell you the story of the Lady of Heaven? She was very special. Daughter to the Prophet Muhammad. My time is near. And after with my lovely Fatima, you will face many trials. With my father no longer here to lead us. Evil is with those who will extinguish the light of truth. Wow, okay. Um okay, so it's okay. Obviously it's about the story of the daughter of uh the Prophet Muhammad of the uh Muslim religion. Um you know, I just want to state that There's a lot of things in this world that are, especially lately, I mean, ever since, um, well, okay, how should I word this? There are extremists, right, in all religions, okay? And they're wrong. Doesn't matter what religion and stuff, the extremists, they're they're wrong. They take words from the Quran, which is the Muslim's version of the Bible, or Christianity, uh, Catholicism, and whatnot, which is the head of of um, uh, Christianity. Which the two biggest religions in the world? Okay, fact. Okay, it's not Mormonism. Seriously, anyone who says that is no, you're wrong. Mormonism was founded by Joseph Smith, okay? The only religion that, as a whole of religion that has commonality that believes in... No, I'm not trying to start a war, uh, dispute or anything. I'm just trying to state facts here. Um, religion of a founder, right? The founder of Christianity... Is Jesus Christ okay and the head of Christianity of the Christian uh, as a whole from base the basics of Christianity right yeah is the Trinity the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit right so um this is okay and the hut and the head of Christianity is the church, yeah, I'm talking about the 2,000 year old institution. It's the old, it's the oldest institution belief system that hasn't died out when it comes to uh, Christianity. And that's, um, and that, and religion, and that's uh, Catholicism, okay? It's the church. It's the Holy Mary, Mother of the Son of God. The church, the Roman Catholic Church, okay? That's the, globally, on this earth, right? That's the biggest, it's the biggest religion in the whole wide world. Now, what is the second biggest re uh, religion? Well, it's Muhammad. It's um, a Muslim. They are the second biggest religion, and they are growing, and they are, and you could say, actually, yeah, in a lot of ways, they are catching up to uh, Catholicism, and that's a fact, but Overall, for people who are Catholic, it's still ahead, which is a fact, okay? I'm not trying to start a dispute or anything, okay? I'm just saying. 
Um, but I mean, I already like this movie. I, I actually, wow, I actually want to watch this, you know? Um, so this movie is obviously about the daughter of Muhammad and, you know, um, okay. So you take religion, right? We know where Buddha's body is. We know where Muhammad's body is buried, right? We know where, um, okay, well, let's take Christianity as a whole, right? Except for Mormonism. They're not Christianity because they don't actually, even though they, no, their doctrine, people might disagree, with, but no, you, they don't believe in Christianity, okay? The, the basis of Christianity is that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are all connected as one. The, the Father uh, will speak to you through himself. He will speak to you through his son Jesus and as well as the Holy, as well as the Holy Spirit, right? They are one and they are three. Okay, that's the basics of Christianity, which is the hub, the mothership, the head of Christianity, the creator of Christianity, Jesus Christ, right? The Roman Catholic Church. Okay. Joseph Smith, Mormonism, they don't know. They don't truly believe in that in the Trinity in that sense. They say that they do, but their doctrine, well, I'm just gonna say it proves no, they don't. Um but the hub of, the head of Christianity, the Roman Catholic Church, is the only religion where it has an empty tomb. We know where Joseph Smith's body is. We know where the uh, founder of Scientology's body is. Okay? Um, you know, you can find that stuff out on the internet. Okay? Christianity, the head of Christianity, the Catholic Church, has an empty tomb. Yeah, I'm... I'm proud of... I'm proud to be Catholic. And, you know, I... Love the Muslims. I love the Jehovah's Witnesses, you know. But I'm just going to say it is that in each religion, you know, there's, um, doesn't matter, or people who are, say that they're religious and then they join a cult, right? Um, okay. Um, that goes into extremism. And there's a lot of people that, uh, you know, take words or passages from the Bible and say that that's what's being said right there. No, that's not. Or the Quran. You know, the uh, the Quran is the Bible's version of the Muslims, you know, which I love the Muslims. Really beautiful people. Um, but then there's the people who are extremists who are taking that and they're focusing on one thing, and then there's, well, on this earth, extremism, terrorism, and, you know, well, you know, America is still reeling, and it still has repercussions from the attack on 9-11, which was terrible, um, but no, not all Muslims are like that, but, of course, the media, you know, focuses on all that, because that's what sells, and, you know, honestly, it makes me sick. It really does. You know, it makes the good, righteous people who are not doing that stuff, who are Muslim, look bad. And, you know, you know, it's just, it's, it's flat out disgusting. I'm not sorry about it. It's, it's fucking disgusting. Anyway, let's get into it. I mean, this, let's rewind it a little bit. So it's about the, so. The Lady of Heaven trailer. Wow. Um, it's about Muhammad's daughter. Okay. With my father no longer here to lead us, evil is with those who will extinguish the light of truth. Tell us what to do. Go 
judge all of you. This world has become a breeding ground of violence. The shadow will be cast across many generations to come. Fire generation. In this life and the hereafter is the spreading of peace in the world. Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up. Okay, wow. So, okay. Um, it sparked. It sparks a point of violence that will span generations to come. The modern day. This is exactly my point. I mean, I'm not attacking this movie. It's explaining of why there's people like this. Okay, yes. Um, okay, well, I talked to people who are Muslim, and yeah, in the Quran it does say. Okay, I'm paraphrasing um, from what I remember, but it's like. They'll focus on what one part says. Well, they don't focus on what says before that and after that. They don't focus on the whole chapter and the chapter before that as well. You know, it's the same thing as paraphrasing the Bible and just taking one passage of the, of the Bible and just living by that. And, and, you know, that's what is a contributing factor to what leads to extremism, to ISIS, like I said, you know, but... So, but this is the story, I guess I got part of it, is that it explains the violent part as well as the beautifulness of the um, Muslim religion. And I've read the like the plot summary um, on the internet from like the web pages, you know, and it's just, it's a, uh, it, ex I'm guessing it's going to go into the point of where it's, because it said to generations to come and then it showed modern day terrorism, you know, um, like Al Qaeda, um, jihadists. Um, ISIS, uh, which can happen in any, and which can happen in any religion where they twist the words or passages, or they just live by one or two passages and say that that's what's being said. And it doesn't matter what religion, people who do that, that's it's just wrong. I mean, yeah. It, I mean, a Muslim told me one time who, he said, yeah, it does say to attack and kill the infidels, you know, but, it, you know, this was after 9-11, and I remember him saying to me that, well, 9-11 was done by Muslim extremists. Not all Muslims are like that, you know, which, thank God, I mean, those people I love, and I... Thank you for that. I really do. Um, he said to me that 9-11 uh, with Twin Towers, with the jacking of the plane that landed, in that crashed into the Pentagon, the uh, bombs on the Washington um, um, Memorial Bridge, right, and whatnot, that was done by Al-Qaeda, by Al uh, you know, Osama bin Laden. They take one passage of it and they live by it, you know, it's stuff, but you're supposed to, the way he said, yeah, it does say that, but it says that to do that in a, in a war, okay, on a battlefield. Well, New York City, I'm, I'm just going to come out and say it, New York, uh, New York City, the uh, Pentagon were not battlefields. It was not a war zone, okay? Also, you know, I remember this one time, actually, this brings back another memory, um, where 
I was watching this documentary on how it was explaining on how there's the wonderful religion of the of the prophet uh, Muhammad and Muslim and how there's extremism and you know what's the difference you know how did the extremism come in you know and it, and it explained it really really well um, yeah and basically it's it does say that stuff in the Quran like I, I was told by a, actually more than one Muslim person who was is well, I don't know if they're dead or alive still. Is or was well, well educated, you know, and they they, they knew what, and what they told me. Um, they they knew their stuff or they know their stuff. So, and I and I actually checked what they were saying, you know, I verified it. Um, and it's just it's it's wrong. But uh, there was this other part where I remember where they were showing this part where they went in and they sent uh. Uh, reporters into groups of a terrorist group and they were uh, filming them and asking them uh, you know why are you doing this what exactly are you hoping to accomplish you know um, and then they well what really got me is that there was this part where they would you know there's this one person that would um, convert you or try to to that uh, extremism beyond what uh, the Muslim religion is supposed to be that's uh, extremism or what or beyond the point of what Christianity is supposed to be you know that's uh, that beyond that point is uh, extremism you know you go blow up a building and kill 10,000 people for in the name of God it could happen with Christianity it, it could happen with any religion um, Scientology, whatever. I mean, that's a religion. And okay, um, nowhere in the Quran does it say that you use children to accomplish that. And they were filming, and and it was talking about how there's the extremists and how and how they did just that. They would strap suicide vests to well, what you would consider to be children, and yeah, it, it that's right. There's the extremism, and that's wrong. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. That's a very good example, and it's happened more than once. Okay, like I said 9/11 was not a war zone. Okay, they did not declare war, so it no, and it's still terrible. And you know, America is still reeling from that to uh, to this day. And a true statement, we probably will forever still be suffering from the repercussions of that. Seriously. And I feel sorry for the um, Muslims who aren't like that. Because they get a bad rap. I mean, with any extremism of any religion. Um, if there's extremism in any religion, you know, for the people who aren't like that, it, it you just made them have a bad rap. And it's disturbing, it's disgusting, and it's flat out wrong. Is the spreading of peace in the world? Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up, no matter what the cost. Her legacy lives on. Coming soon. Wow. Um. Wow. So this movie what is about, and how she was also, uh, the daughter of Muhammad, and how. she and the history of it and it you know i'm glad oh, i'm glad they made a movie about this 
you know? Um, you know, if, when I see this movie, you know, it'll help me have a better understanding of, like I said, with the, of why there's uh, extremism in religion and how they, and the extremism, the extremists have even twisted, have more than likely also twisted what she has preached. You know? And, well, you know, the sad thing is, is that there's always going to be extremism of some sort. No matter what. For the rest of history on Earth. It's sad, but, you know, no. I, I Well, I, I really like this trailer. It's... It's well made. It's um, the point is across. It's about the Prophet Muhammad's daughter. And wow! And you know what? Shout out to um, Shika or Shika. I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing your name. I already know I am. Uh, yes, sir, Al Habib, the scriptwriter of this movie. Um. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really, I'm actually going to look forward to actually seeing this movie. As a Christian, this is really going to be interesting. This will actually help me, probably help me understand more. About the Muslim religion. The second biggest religion on this earth. Okay, wow, it, it, it's just beautiful. Anyway, thank you for watching. It was a little longer than I wanted it to do, to be, but wow. Um, thank you for watching. This is Triple H Gamer here with my reaction video to the movie trailer of The Lady of Heaven. Um, and thank you to the guy who commented on the request as well. Thank you for that. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. So, smack that like button. I also do reaction videos to other things as well. I'm finishing up my redos. Sorry. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Smack that like button. Subscribe. And like I said before, feel free to share my videos on your social media accounts and whatnot. And I also do video game walkthroughs and commentaries. So, thank you and good day. Triple H Gamer here is signing off with, for this video. Like I said before. Bye, friends! Yeah, Adam Calhoun reference. Freaking hilarious guy. I love him.